Hello, YouTube. Uh, it's officially the end of whatever cycle and JP was last month, or what it was supposed to be before the COVID-19 delays. So that means it's time for a bit of a retrospective black thought. Uh, I am currently running the Diablos co-op, the ultimate Diablos co-op, I should say, in the Japanese version. Uh, uh, per usual, the gameplay is not important. I'm just gonna give what I think, what I remember. Just trying to get some knowledge out there so we can look back at it. And what's global behind now by seven months? Just, just for a heads up, bit of a refresher, I guess. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Uh, that's a good sign. No co-op rooms found. And I only have one bell, don't I? Two bells. All right. Well, hopefully the just for fun rooms are packed. Although, it, hey, let me just get started. So I believe if this were to be a full month, it would have started off with Cloud's rework and burst, and they did an excellent job with him. Uh, triple dump on cross slash battery in between. Uh, oh, sweet. A room. Let me book this. These, these, these recent calls are getting fat again. I've ran like a couple 2x books and with no success. Uh, anyways, let me keep going. So, Cloud's rework... Sorry, turn my speaker down. Cloud's rework was very good. Uh, his LD is even better. Uh, those free skills make a difference for someone as slow as him. For getting, that's, uh, that's eight finishing touches he can get off. With, uh, AoE delay was splashed, so now he's got an AoE shave outside of his EX. Uh, what else? I don't know, he, he's real good now. Uh, especially good for your Kais cheese, uh, which is where you're seeing a lot of Cloud lately. Uh, he's my favorite character. Well, he's one of my. He's probably tied with Zack, but Final Fantasy VII love. I don't know what else to say. Got his BT, enjoying it a lot. They did good. Uh, in terms of the, of God, this call is just spamming ones. Brain dead. I love it. Uh. In terms of the event that was run, it was two guard scorpions, I believe. I don't remember the exact condition for the Lufenia because it was so long ago. Like, oh my god. But uh, it was something like paralyze them. So I, I think I recorded that one actually, and it was like Cam, Cloud, and Rude. That was fun. Uh, assuming, I mean, every event this applies, but assuming you, you get the the BT synergy. You're probably good to counter the fight and go. Uh, if you don't have any paralyzed units or units that can uh, stop actions like Raijin, Toto, Cam, Edward, uh, you might be in for a bad time. So if you're looking for roll coverage and you're not interested in Cloud, uh, uh, you're going to need someone for that fight or else you're going to be sad. Keeping that in mind, it was a pretty straightforward event. After that, the lost chapter synergy for Cloud for that two-week cycle was Beatrice. Her rework was pretty straightforward. <clears throat> uh, she got Splash on her skill 2, I think it is, Thunder Slash. Uh, her LD is the real important part. Her rework was not terribly notable. Her rework... I mean, not a rework. Her LD, which allows her to dispel all buffs AoE, and it enacts a uh, frame debuff that does, I believe, attack down and sap. Don't quote me. Look it up for yourself. And it, it lets her do a follow-up, which also dispels one buff after she does an attack, which is pretty cool. Uh, she still has buff slot stuff to deal with, but, just cancel the launch, dude, uh, <laughs> um, she, she pumps out a lot of damage, Unfor unfortunately, she still doesn't hit terribly hard, uh, especially with Brave Reduction, in her own lost chapter, in, in her fight, I was using her, and capping, capping, like I always, capping is a myth, but, wow, she was doing piss-ass damage, that's not, is that even a phrase, it is now, her damage was garbage, garbage, trash. Oh, mm, 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 mm. 
But she did what she needed to do. She's got heals. She's got the damage mitigation. Now she's got the added utility as, I think, the third magic dispeller in the game. Because we have Vanille and we have Arciella. Yeah, I think that, I think that was it. Why, why are all the magic dispellers girls? That fool can't melt steel beams. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> Oh boy, but her her uh, her lost chapter was quite the doozy. I mean, uh, I think I don't think I recorded it. Uh, I did record it. I think I used Cam in there too. That was when I was in the mood to record JP videos again, and then the delays happened. Let me let me stay on topic. Uh, preventing them from getting turns proved useful. Uh, it was pretty tricky without synergy per usual, which is just a growing trend. I mean. I don't, I don't have the, the creative drive in the Japanese version to try creative things like I do in the global version because I've got more flex room and time to prepare. So uh, I'm, I, I, I'm very curious to see how this era plays out in global solely because I want to see people's creative teams because I certainly will probably not have them and as I showcase on the videos I do end up recording I usually just have synergy or someone broken I mean uh I don't know dude it'll be interesting yeah but that fight kind of sucked uh it was the same mirror list that decided to kill you except the buffs they gain are just all frames so clouds dispel help there Beatrix dispel help there I know Fred like used Balthier for some success someone might have used like Ferris or Vanille got used too, but she was synergy. Unfortunately, Steiner was kind of useless in the Lufania, but I mean, yeah, just, just things to think about. Look at videos if you want some more thoughts on the fight, but it was it was relatively challenging. Uh, after that, we had Zand. Is that even his name? That's how I'm gonna say it. Zanda? Zand? I'm saying Zand. Uh, that big old scary ass dude. Uh, that fight was toxic. Good lord. Uh. The Lufenia counter, I'm trying to remember. I think it had something, it, no, it was just straight up deal dark damage. And the it also absorbed other elements. So like Holy, Holy was absorbed, for example. So if you were trying to bring Toto, who, uh, no, it, it absorbed wind. That's right. Wind resist. God damn it. No. <laughs> Fuji. <laughs> I mean, they're not relevant now, really, but ah, this just stings. Uh, I think the wind resist was specifically able to take down Toto, though, because she Toto could have done that dark uh, damage requirement. Actually, she probably would have clapped the fight if wind wasn't absorbed, solely because her dark moves are her E. No, actually, I think it did absorb Holy now, I had to think about it. Holy is her EX, and wind is her other non skill 2 and LD moves. So, uh, yeah, she was hard countered on that fight, but she would have handled it steadily. Uh, the operative strategy was to use a uh, Zand call ability as well as a Zan friend if you didn't have darkness damage. Although I think uh, Leo, not Leo, uh, Leon, there might be Leon uses out there, but then like there, you weren't saying Golbez because Golbez just doesn't have the damage output necessary. Uh, it was a pretty restrictive fight. Also, a uh, realm. I ended up doing. Excuse me with realm let me take my call off because those those keep bugging out lately i did it with zan i uh, know i did it with realm garnet and beatrix i brought garnet and this is her still being relevant in content so don't tweak she's she's pretty broken but um i took a lot of resets and it's a comp i got from youtube and it was down to the fucking wire dude uh Realm was taking care of my darkness. It took a lot of tactics. And those those are the fights that I enjoy. But there was definitely a high skill gap there. And that's why I didn't record it. Because if a fight takes me like 50 recordings, I'm just not... It's I was going insane trying to record it and talk and do it correctly at the same time. It's a, it's a weird mess, you know. So, yeah. More Cecil. Huh. Mm. Did that, that fight was toxic. I... I do wish it on my worst enemies, but <laughs> uh, that's something to keep out for as well. So if you don't have, if you don't pull Zand on that fight and you don't have Realm, 
Uh, I'm not. I think people have done it with. Oops. I think people have done it without dark damage, but it was very, 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 very sketchy, and I think it required Gladio. So, what is this guy's skill order? Dear God, is this the guy who didn't finish his boards? Yikes. Oof. God damn, dude, where are you? Anyways, uh, so that that was the fight right before the rerun. You have Zaldi, right? The rerun started, and honestly, that's that's a big gap in my memory because content that was rerun was so mind-numbingly easy that it didn't really matter. The banners were not good to pull on because, well, one, uh, they were old, so why would you, why would you pull on them in the first place? But two, now with the advent of that, we we know. LD boards are a thing, and those people that reran then are probably going to be even even better banners, possibly. Uh, oof, I I don't know, I I don't know why you'd want them in global, but some people are saying that for some reason because they want to pull more weapons at once. But that's uh, that is again goofball shit. So so chill out. Uh, and it's a pandemic. Why would you? Ugh, let me. But I'm not going to talk about those reruns. Uh, they were cool for the fact that they gave me some extra burst tokens and materials so I could sail for Ramza, I guess. But, eh. Pretty, pretty boring. I think I even started going back into the Orb World of Illusions, not Orb, the Artifact World of Illusions in Global. That's how uninterested I was in the rerun content. I just log in, do my daily, get my treasure chest from the cat bar, and then log out. That was pretty much our routine. The farming events took, was instant because we could go back with, uh, I think I gave nearly everyone I used in those events the their Lufenia armor. So like, uh, Squall was just killing it. AoE, uncapped, well, less capped I should say. Uh, yeah. So moving on to the canonical what would have been next was Ferian's uh, rework and LD, and man, he is he is fun. Uh, Julio Neal, El Hombre Guapo, they did him justice. Party heals, party o attack, and brave, and I brave aura. Um, uh, is it a trap? Or is it, uh, he has a, a trap debuff now where he follows up and heals and batteries the party. Oh man, he's fun. He's real fun. I'm glad they they did and his his oh well whoops resize my window. His burst is beautiful. Like they took it straight out of O twelve. They it seemed like their their delay budget went straight into that, and I'm not complaining because it looks sick. Um, I managed to get his burst going for Cecil, which I'll talk about later. But uh, I wasn't chasing it obviously because I don't chase I don't chase burst anymore. But uh, who? Wow, that was that was quite the doozy. In terms of the fight, it was against two Agrius bosses, but they didn't buff as often. So it ended up not actually being that bad of a fight, but again oh whoops, on my mic. I didn't use I'm trying to did I record that fight either? Yikes, I'm terrible. I think I used Ferian uh Warrior of Light. No, I use Ferian, Bosch, and Rude. So I, I really just kind of stomped it because uh, Bosch can't get killed, uh, and he soaks up the AOE attacks. So uh, and Rude and Ferian just heal you instantly. So I basically just think, that's probably why I didn't record it because I thought that the run was too basic. Plus, uh, Rude plus Ferian is already a super just broken combo. I just felt dirty using that. I barely recorded this Bahamut run. I only did it because I need to record more often when I run these first time runs. Anyways, anyways, um, aside from non-Ferian runs, probably a uh, Rude Bosch. I think Leon was good there. Uh, I, th I think the fight was a little bit more forgiving, but you definitely needed some way to deal with the constant amount of heat because I think the Lufenia condition was you need it goes up by one for each party member healed on an action so like Eric would be good there 
Uh, Rude was good there because he's got his uh, AOE heals. But uh, if you don't have an AOE healer, it, ne it needs to be on-demand heals. I don't think I'm, I'm not sure that regen counts. Regen might count, so don't count. don't quote me. But watch out for that. Uh, and I know some people uh, cough, cough, ink welder are, are thinking. <laughs> Uh, are thinking, oh no, I need a burst healer, I need a regen healer because your roll covers. I mean, the, the odds of you having that roll covered are probably already pretty high, and I think by the time this period rolls around in global, uh, Rude's going to be pretty hyped just because of how uh, frequent use he's seen. Oh man, I wish I could use Reno. Now. Why haven't I been using Reno lately? I probably could have used him on that challenge, now that I think about it. I don't know. I need, I'm, I'm using Reno next time I can, because he's fun. Let's keep thinking. Uh, these cults are getting grindier too, by the way. Um, what's next? What happened next? Uh, oh yeah, flex death. Uh, lost chapter. Woo, man, that was that was a doozy. He, they did him justice. Oh, did they do him justice? Uh, he didn't get reworked, but he didn't need it. His damage is even truer now. Oh, he didn't. He didn't board his LD. Um, I know he gets another H. I think it's, it's an, he did some some kind of sad poison finger and attack down. I can't remember if it's HP poison or it's uh, brave poison, but he just hits he hits a lot harder than he did before because uh, he's got more brave the uh, brave reduction based on attack, whatever. He just spits out a lot of damage, so you love to see it. I don't have much to say on him because I still am not too much familiar with his LD because I didn't pull it and I didn't care. Not a 5 fan, although Flex looks pretty cool. In terms of his lost chapter, uh, the fight was even more predictably even more toxic than the Chaos. It, uh, But I did use Edge, Warrior Light, and Charlotta. I didn't record that either because I thought it was kind of brain dead. Because, did I say edge? I'm at 8. 8 kind of takes away the trouble in that fight. Uh, if you can taunt them, a lot of their attacks are single target. And uh, if he's taking them and then countering, uh, he just went straight through. Wow, that is... You must be a reroller. I'm not playing with you. And uh, Warrior Light synergy there. So um, another reason I don't I don't know why you skip Warrior Light's LD. It's just a good investment, but it paid dividends in that chaos, and not in that chaos. Well, challenge obviously, but it also paid dividends in that um, Lufenia. Uh, Furion was synergy there. So uh, Furion plus Warrior Light teams were hilariously common just to boost the eye brave hell at Warrior Light's. Uh, HP shields, so they were just quite pr literally in impenetrable, which is hilarious. Uh, one more book should do it for this co-op. Uh, and they had massive, massive brave gains in between turns, and they swapped them off. So if you weren't ready to tank them with Warrior Light, or if your Furion or uh, X-Death couldn't shave them down, or I guess your, your Gilgamesh, but I, I don't think he was used in that Lufenia. So... Unless someone manages to make it work, that'd be cool. But oh god, what is this Ramza? Ho! At least you have the LD, dude. Oof. Damn, boy. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So that's something to watch out for. Eight, eight is good. Eight got screwed over. Pretty much after his uh, his lost chapter dropped, but he still works very well. So don't be like, oh, he dies right after. Just he, he's not a win button, all right. All all this hype, uh, I just see so much hyperbole from basic conclusions from Japanese players. I mean, there, there's some some very uh, misinforming sources, like people. Like the, the, the Kais hypers who don't understand his kid. Stuff like that. P people not understanding things, but it gets... Hyperbole happens so much. Just play the game, people. Alright, moving on. Last part of what should have been the last main in cycle would have been the boss rush content. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, 
FEOD 19 was in there somewhere. Uh, I forgot about it because it was a joke. I brought Beatrix and Cloud. Uh, I guess Beatrix is probably the winner there, but that stage was so non-threatening, it, it really didn't matter. Whatever. I think we had the spell frame buffs, I think. Or, I know, I'm not even going to try to remember it. It was a joke. I did it in a one-try blind. Who cares? I feel it is a joke. But uh, Transcendence Tier... F Makes fun of my terms. FEOD 20 is uh, gonna be at the end of this month in Japan, and afterwards, we're getting that. That will be, they have said that explicitly, this will be the last. And we're getting the new tower next month, so that'll be hype. Anyways, Boss Rush. Uh, I'm sure you've seen videos of it by now, but that was pretty cool. I think, I think it was very creative content, and I appreciated it. It allowed it. Gave each uh, grouping 50 turns to do their thing to get, and uh, you got rewards based on how many teams you use. So if you use two teams, you got max rewards. Three teams, you got chaos level rewards. So that'd just be material uh, chaos mats. Two teams would be uh, everything below, including with any armor. And four teams would just be pages. I think it was. Don't quote me. It was something somewhere. Uh, Cecil rework. Uh, I think all he really got was extra hits on Darkness and extra hits on Valiant Blow plus Splash on Valiant Blow, which now that it splashes, it leaves the, uh, if it's a multi-target fight, it leaves the other targets open to be launchable, which is always appreciated. Uh, he's in his, his LD, one of the animation sick. Two, it does a lot of damage and it sets him up perfectly for a launch. So he's really in, in, also dark in peril. So he's just doing decil things again. That was a that was a dark month, uh, both in the real world and in game. Yikes. Uh, uh, if you, because if you, I think one of the conditions for the boss rush was hitting dark damage. It was doing dark damage. It was doing launches, and the first wave was just prominent. Yeah. So I think the last wave was launches, mid wave was doing dark damage, and the previous the first wave had no restrictions but you needed to kill the prominence before it got to level four because it would insta kill you uh i believe my team i got too lazy to upload that as well which i shouldn't be doing should be doing i, I i'm trying to hold myself to record when i play because it just doesn't happen otherwise because running these rerunning these fights is not not super fun which i don't know if that's a good sign Maybe it's because I enjoy global and reading stuff on and partaking in the community more on the global side, but I just have pretty much zero incentive to experiment on my JP account. Maybe it's because I play both versions. Who knows? Um, I think my team was Furion, Rude, Gladio. Gladio is still MVP, by the way. Don't get it twisted. Uh... So I was doing like double counters plus healing to max brave all the time. And then my second team was Cloud, Kais, and Cecil. Yep, because I pulled Cecil's LD and I, like I said, I did get his, I did get Furion's burst while going for it, which was a, a bonus. But, and then I just delay cheesed the last two waves. So Kais's midair battery was just godly because I was launching almost every turn with either Cloud or Cecil, so yeah. It was fun content though. I look forward to more of it. Just uh, if you don't have dark damage, Leon's on the banner. Toto and co op, that's interesting. You must have been a reroller too. Uh, Toto, yeah, Toto, no, no, speaking, focus. Uh, very fun content, but uh let's see out of all those things i think i pulled on everything <laughs> let's see uh cloud pulled there beatrix pulled there zan didn't pull but i had beatrix's synergy along with a uh, garnet and realm uh furion now given there was a month there was a like half month of delays in that and I only chased the LD, but pulled on Furion, didn't pull on X Death, and then I pulled on Cecil. So 
couldn't imagine hoarding through that, but I can see it now hitting the wow, we're about to get uh, um, more frequent LDs, so I need to save and skip these. I, I can see, I, I can still see a lot of unhappiness from a lot of the big hoarders in this period, or just the scrubs. I don't know. Play the game. Play the game, bro. I don't know, man. That is a lot of pulling, though, I guess. A lot of purple, too. Let's let's think about who I purple. Did my monitor just die? That was weird. Uh, I already had cloud purpled. Uh, for the challenge I used, for the cloud challenge, I'm kind of all over the place now. I used uh, Celez, Yuri, and Cloud, and I put one ingot into Yuri and zero into Celez, but I fully uh, summon boarded them and got their two thirds character boards. Uh, I did do, I, I haven't, I still have yet to really skip a challenge recently. For Beatrix, I purpled her. And then I used Cloud and Vanille in the challenge. My Vanille still one out of three, so that didn't require much. So that's one perp. That's a uh, that's four ingots so far. Uh, comes and event. I didn't invest anything, so that was nothing. Uh, for Fury and LD, I purpled him. I think I purpled Lena too, because she was synergy, and I wanted her on the challenge or just to meet some of the mission dungeon requirements. So that's seven ingots so far used. Uh, then we have X death. I mean flex death, and I didn't purple anybody there. I used pre-existing units, although for the challenge I was still able to do it with uh, zero to three Gilgamesh. Oh yeah, for the Furian challenge, by the way, I did. Let me back up. For the Zan challenge, I did Beatrix, Cloud, and... Did I do that challenge? Oh, and I Aiko. Aiko. That's right. She was synergy there. And I had her 0 out of 3. Um, Furian challenge, I did all purple with LD, Furian, uh, Lena, and Fujin. For Flex Death challenge, I did Warrior of Light along with... Gilgamesh 0 out of 3 and he was hitting hard by the way I'm kind of almost slick not, regretting not investing in him who else is synergy there uh oh yeah Furion so Furion warrior like Greg and then for Cecil challenge quest actually there was no challenge quest because it was just boss rushing huh they gave us a token just for getting to one of the tiers but even if there was I would have just used Furion Cecil and then Leon because I purpled Leon thinking there was a challenge but there wasn't so I think it was at seven ingots at Lena and then I used uh, six more ingots to purple Leon and then purple Cecil so that's what I spent 13 let's let's recap one on Yuri Three on Beatrix, that's four. Uh, three on Furion, so that's seven. Three on Lena, so that's ten. And then three more on Leon, and another three on Cecil. So that's 16 ingots I spent in this time period. It's definitely a little biased by the reruns that definitely influence something. But I spent 16 ingots, and I think I'm still, especially after this board farming right now, I'm in the double digits for ingots. So, there we haven't necessarily gotten more ingots. It's just that we're getting reruns of characters who we've already purpled. So it's not that we get more, it's that we have to use less. That's a, that's probably something I'll say for another video, but um, that's just some perspective. My pulling and purpling habits, and I'm, I still almost have 300k gems. I mean, I'm, I'm free. I am free to play besides the Mog Pass that I bought, but I've bought Mog Pass a total of 
I think this is my third time. So that's not, I don't buy ingots or any stuff, and I've duped books countless. So I mean, all all without foresight. So just take that in mind. If you're if you're sitting here stressing about Lufenia or all the bursts you got to get, just play the game, bro. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just, I don't know. These are topics for later videos that I will may or may not get to, depending on my my level of caring. But I, I really want to play Xenoblade Chronicles Remastered. I've I've been playing that all morning. Uh, I wanted this grind and these videos out of the way, so I don't have to think about them again. And uh, I'm done now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully my mic doesn't sound like cancer because <laughs> I'm not re recording this shit. So bye.